back performing again has been a great experience and I think for us it's fantastic to perform but also for the people and we've had some success this year uh, with the re-emergence of music in Hong Kong we played uh, at the Hong Kong Rugby Sevens we headlined there and we played at the Free Space Jazz Festival they were two great events For what felt like an eternity, COVID curbs had made Hong Kong silent. People were living in a city without live music. Then, in October 2022, performers were again allowed back on stage. As one of the most popular bands in town, the Red Stripes were eager to make nightlife again filled with color, using their high-energy brand of ska and reggae. During the festive season, this 10-piece band recently returned to the 20-year-old restaurant, which has hosted so many of their Saturday night performances over the years. Yes, of course, the Red Stripes. Um, I'm always, always at their shows. They're very good and they play music that I'm familiar with, which is ska music. Yeah, looking forward to the show. Your end down. Oh, bring it down. Okay, bring it down, yeah. We came a long way from Saikun, so it's an hour and a half journey to come here. So yes, that tells you a great deal about how happy we are about the return of music in Hong Kong. Finally! It's been a while since we've played, so it's uh, really good. And we love this place, we love this venue, so looking forward to everyone coming and yeah. We're the Red Stripes! You are Hong Kong! So great to see you all tonight. We do make some money out of the live show, and so, and it makes it a much better sales proposition on, on the weekends. But even more importantly, this is, of course, it's, it helps the entertainers and they get paid and, and we have increased sales. So it's very beneficial. And, and I, I do think it does make a difference in which band, or which group is playing because not all have the same drawing power, but Red Stripes have been very good and we really enjoy having them play here. It began with uh, myself and the bass player, Paul. We had this long running conversation about, shall we start a band? We've both been musician, professional musicians before. And uh, so we, we did start the band and we found Cam and we started as a soul outfit. Yeah, yeah, we started early on as a soul, soul band. And really, uh, when we were talking about songs that we wanted to play and styles that we loved, uh, it just so happened that ska reggae rock steady was also part of that uh so that expanded really the sound uh of our band greatly and as members were added now we're up to 10 people uh started writing more songs we've been fortunate to be playing for 10 years uh having shared and made a lot of amazing musical memories and we're also celebrating friendship for 10 years and longer the fact that we're also so close as people, alongside being in a band as well, I think that 10, 10th anniversary is that much more special. Ska in Asia is a beloved genre. It may not be the most popular, but there's huge scenes, whether it's Tokyo, uh, whether it's in Singapore, whether it's in Indonesia, uh, and we've been really lucky to play in all of these places. And it brought us so much joy to share music with more people, but also so much inspiration to be hearing artists in Japan or artists in Malaysia uh, or artists in Indonesia or the Philippines. Yeah, and there's a lot of young people that are involved in ska music throughout Asia. Uh, so it's, it's great to meet them and form friendships and to, to perform with them on stage. 
invite them to our festivals and we get invited to their SCAR festivals as well. It's really big actually. We had no live music for about 10 months from January 5 until about three or four weeks ago. It's been a very hard time and, and we really have not been doing the business that we would hope to do and there was no little business on the weekends. It's been very painful and it's sad that some of the other other performing uh, locations have closed down. So we're very, very enthusiastic and happy to see the return of live entertainment in Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. Getting cold. We're lucky that uh, the Red Stripes isn't our full-time employment. Uh, we're lucky to have uh, day jobs outside of this. Uh, but again, not, not everyone is that lucky and COVID has affected them far worse than us. So we're very grateful to be back playing again uh, and thankful that we can kind of weather that storm for sure. I believe we're nudging in the right direction. Uh, I think obviously Tourism will be a factor uh, to bring in international artists next year. Bringing in international artists will um, bring in the appeal of the local music scene as well, because when tourists come to Hong Kong, they also want to savor the, the local scene as well. We are in such a lot of demand at the moment to play. People are keen to come and enjoy live music and get involved, so uh, it's just marvellous to, to be part of it, to part of the revival. Yeah.